guys, today I'm going to be sharing my favorite drugstore makeup brushes, and I do have some old favorites as well as some new discoveries to share with you guys, so let's just get started. So starting off with my face, I'm going to go ahead and start off with favorite drugstore powder brushes, and the first one I've really been loving from the drugstore is this one by the company Barely Sheer, and this is their Sure Stay Setting Brush. So Barely Sheer, if you're curious or it doesn't sound that familiar to you, is the brand that does the drugstore version of um, air spray foundations. What is that? Not air spray. Spray on airbrush. Airbrush foundations. What I really love about this brush is first of all it's super super soft. It feels so incredibly delicate on the skin plus it's a very flexible um, brush as well so it's really great for adding any loose powder on your skin or translucent powder. Plus I do love that it has this nice super short handle on it so it allows for really easy control when you are applying powder products so I really do love this guy and I did get mine from Target. For a more traditional powder brush, I have been loving this one by Flower Beauty, and this is their powder brush. And initially when I first saw this and felt it for the first time, it reminded me so much of my It Cosmetics makeup brushes, which if you have felt those before, you know they are life-changing. They are the softest brushes in the world. And this does feel very close to the level of softness as those brushes. And I also love the handle on this. It's not a cylinder handle, so it doesn't feel awkward when you're holding it. It just makes it a lot easier to hold the brush brush for some reason. So I really love this one as well. For setting up my under eye concealer, I have been loving this brush for years now. This is the e.l.f. blush brush and I do use it for my under eyes. I don't use it as a blush brush because it just has the most perfect like tapered edge here. This has been my favorite brush for setting my under eye for years, like literally probably four years now. It has been able to withstand like four apartment moves, breakups, family tragedies, you name it. This brush has managed to withstand it all and never shed and never break on me. So this is kind of like my ride or die brush. For foundation, I love this one by Real Techniques. This is their expert face brush. And yes, it's super dirty because I use it all the time. And I'm sure you guys have seen this one a lot, but it is by far my favorite foundation brush right next to my beauty blender. This guy definitely comes in second place for me. It's a really nice dense little brush. This is great if you are a fuller coverage type of person because it really allows you to pack the coverage on. Again, it's more densely packed so this is great for pushing foundation into the skin and just really allowing you to kind of build that coverage. For powder foundation, I have been loving this guy and this is the e.l.f. Selfie Ready Powder Brush. If you ever have a night where you really want to pack on your powder and really make it last all night long this is the guy for you like the flower beauty one is great for me for like a daytime powder because it does apply powder really nicely but it looks a little bit more natural on the skin where this guy like packs it on so yeah this one is really amazing for powder foundations for concealer i love these two guys and the first one being the sonia kashuk pointed foundation brush. Now I'm sure you can tell right away why I love this for concealer because it's really nice and slender and it has that really sharp kind of um, pointed tip so it makes it really easy for applying concealer right in the inner corner or along the bridge of the nose. It really gives you a very precise application of concealer. The only thing I'm not as crazy about with this is that it's not my favorite for blending the product out because it does maintain this kind of slim shape so it's not like spreading the product out. It's kind of packing it in, which for my under eye area, I don't really like to do that. For buffing my concealer and corrector, I love this guy. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I have talked about this brush, I think a few different times on my channel. I really have been in love with it ever since I purchased it. And in fact, I have a few of them kind of lying around in my collection. I used to own the Sephora like concealer airbrush does not compare to this guy. This is so much softer. It buffs it out so well. The Sephora one was actually a little bit scratchy on my under eye where this one isn't at all. It's super, super soft and I just love it for blending any kind of cream product out. I don't just think it's great for corrector or concealer. I think this would also be great for liquid highlighter or cream highlighter as well. So love these two guys. For blush, my all-time favorite is this one by Real Techniques, and this is their blush brush. It's a super soft dome brush, so you could also use it for contour as well. A lot of times when I'm traveling, I will use this brush both for a bronzer or contour and a blush at the same time because it has that nice, like, tapered edge. Now, in conjunction with this brush, I have also really been loving this new brush by EcoTools. It's new to me, at least, and I think this is part of their, like, subdivision line. I think it's called the Complexion line or something like that. 
I will link it down below. But it is a set of these brushes that have these kind of like teal handles and this kind of light colored bristles on it. And this is the Mattifying Finish Brush. So this brush is really unique in that it's a little bit on the flatter side if you look at it from the side, but it's very wide on the front. Plus it's a duo fiber brush. So it's kind of like a flat, fluffy duo fiber brush. So I love using this for helping diffuse any color on my cheeks. Say I'm using either a really intense blush or it gets really streaky and I want to like blend everything out. This guy is awesome. I also just love using this kind of like as a finishing brush. So say I do all of my makeup and there's some areas where I kind of want to blend it out a little bit more. I go in with this guy because it's super gentle and just really does a good job of kind of blending everything out. Okay, so for bronzing and contouring, the first one I really love like is this one by elf again it is their beautifully bare blending brush and this one is really really good for contouring or bronzing it does have a nice um, like short chubby handle again I really love that because it allows for really easy control when you are applying any contour on your face and this is kind of just like a chubby fan brush essentially it's really nice and thin so it does a great job of creating a nice sharp line where you want it to without making a huge mess so that one's really awesome. Another bronzing or contouring brush that I love is this one by e.l.f. And this is the Flawless Face Brush. Now this one is slightly a little bit more fluffy than something like this. This one is for more, I feel like, a precise contour where this is really good if you want something a little bit lighter or maybe you just want to bronze your skin because it does have that nice like tapered edge here at the top so it makes it easy to kind of get in the hollows of your cheeks but it's also fluffy enough if you really want to kind of blend it out and make it look a little bit softer on your face as well so this one is really awesome plus it's a little bit flat on the sides too which I really appreciate in like a contour or bronzing brush so for drugstore eyeshadow brushes the first one I have been really loving is this guy by Wet n Wild and this is their crease brush and this is the best drugstore like fluffy crease brush that I have ever tried out. I really like using it just to help blend any colors out on my eyes. For eyeshadows for the lid I love the elf eyeshadow brush just looks like that. It's a really like standard eyeshadow brush. It's the perfect shape. It's really tightly packed in there and it's really great for packing color on. This does an amazing job of really grabbing eyeshadows. I think a lot more than any other eyeshadow brush that I use. This is by far my favorite for really packing color on the lid. For pigments and glitters or any type of loose shadow, this guy is my best friend and this is the small eyeshadow brush by Sonia Kashuk. Because it is flatter, it just makes it so much easier to really press products into the skin rather than using something really fluffy that might spread the product out a little bit too much. Because this is so thin and flat, it really keeps the product exactly where you want it to go. For the crease, I have a couple and of course they're both by e.l.f. The first one is the e.l.f. Contour Brush and this is really great. It's kind of like a small domed brush. It's really good for concentrating the color on one part of your eye. And then I also love this other little smaller contour brush by e.l.f. Now this one is different um, than the regular contour brush. The regular one is a little bit more rounded and large. This one is a little bit more pointy and precise, so it's really great for packing on color, like especially really, really dark shades, or even running color on your lower lash line. This one is also really awesome for that as well. And then a newer favorite of mine for eyeshadow has actually been the e.l.f. Concealer Brush. This is a super thin, little teeny tiny brush. I love using this for the inner corner of my eye just to really help build up any shadow in that area. Plus, if you're somebody that likes a cut crease but you kind of struggle with getting a really precise line, this guy is awesome for that. I can create a cut crease with this so easily. It's so easy to create a nice sharp line on the lid with this because it's really kind of like razor thin and just gives you a nice sharp line. And then lastly for eyebrows is this one by Sonia Kashuk. This is the Sonia Kashuk number 119 eyebrow brush. This is a great brush because the bristles on this are very coarse while still being really like angular and sharp so it gives you a good shape to your brows but it also does a great job 
of grabbing any of like the brow powder product. This is another awesome go-to drugstore favorite of mine. Okay guys, so that is it for my favorite drugstore makeup brushes. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know. And if you're new to my channel, definitely don't forget to subscribe. If you have any favorite drugstore makeup brushes of your own, definitely let me know down in a comment below. I always love hearing your guys' recommendations. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.